Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about will Iyanla Van Zandt career be ruined after the Tamar feud is aired on their television show Braxton Family Values and why it's so important that the network advise allegedly that she hold back and see the results of the taping before any legal action is taken. So today is a really, really tough, tough video for me because you can look at it either way, but it needs to be talked about. So we all know what's been going on all week with this whole Tamar and Yala thing. Just in case you've been under a rock, let me brief it really quickly. So we all know that Yala was called by the Braxton family. She didn't go to them. They asked her to come help resolve their family problems, their ongoing family problems, because you know, every season there's a new problem, you know. Um, but this one was the contract dispute. We all know that it did not work out. Tamar walked off the set. The following couple days after that, she went on the Wendy Williams show, getting tied tongue today, and um, said that she walked out because um, Iyala basically molested, shamed her, forced her, brought up a subject about her being molested. She didn't want to talk about it, so she walked out. She went on Wendy Williams and told her story that how she was molested on both sides of the family. She didn't have too many good words to say about Iyanla. She also went on Instagram and said that uh, she called her to the devil and a whole bunch of other postings. Iyanla got upset, threatened to sue. Okay, so now that leads us up to today. Now, Iyanla is, has been, the rumor is Iyanla is waiting to see how it plays out on television before she takes action. The rumor is she is very upset about um, Tamar publicly mocking her and saying, you know, just really mean things about her. And, but you know, in all fairness, people, Tamar isn't the only one, okay? Iyala has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, okay? Um, a couple interviews that came to light, to my mind right away, would be the DMX interview. People were really upset with Iyala. I don't understand why, you know, DMX wasn't really easy to talk to, I mean, okay? And then there was the Nefeteria and um, her husband one when she called Nephi a gutter rat. A lot of people felt that she was disrespecting Nephi and you never call anyone a gutter rat. But we all know Nefeteria is another person <laughs> that's not easy to talk to. And from the get-go. And so her reputation is kind of waning in the eye of the beholder, but a lot of people are getting offended by her rough tactics, which she does not hide. She's been this way for years, people. This is not the first time that she has offended someone, and this isn't the first time she fit, uh, sat in front of the Braxton family. Remember on her show starting over with uh, Tamar and Tawanda? So um, everyone knows how she is. So. And Tamar had said on the last episode before she went on the show that I don't know if I feel like being in front of Iyanla. But she went against her own judgment and did it anyway. Okay, so now, this is what we need to talk about today. Iyanla never claimed to be a therapist. She's a life coach on a television show. And it's supposed to work like this. For those who have been hiding under a rock and have not seen Iyanla Fix My Life, can you explain it? It sounds self-explanatory, but it's a little bit no, more it to really it. Isn't. Mm -hmm. Well, Iyanla Fix My Life is a name that the network came up with. And what I do as a minister and a life coach is I go out and uh, people write me. People mm -hmm. write me. I don't go looking for people. I know, that's right. <laughs> Trust me. Mm -hmm. And so they will write. And what I do is I go into their environment. They don't come to me. I go to them. Mm -hmm. um, and we look at an ongoing problem or crisis in their life. And, and they, I look at it. I look at the possible causes of the problem. Mm -hmm. And we explore those. And usually that's demonstrated by people's behavior. Mm -hmm. If you behave yourself into something, you can behave yourself out. Mm -hmm. And I look at possible causes, and then I offer possible solutions and, and behaviors and ways of thinking and perspectives. And then I leave them to do their work. So the truth is, I don't do the fixing. The fix is that I can go in and assess. And I assess as a therapist, I mean, as a coach, as a minister, not as a therapist. Okay. You have to remember, people, Iyala's not perfect. She has, is a woman of her own sorrows okay you know um her mother died when she was four her father was an absentee dad um she was raised by an alleged abusive 
extended family member. Um, she lost her daughter to cancer. I mean, she been she has been through a lot of heartaches on her own, and she has managed to turn her life around. She's written over twenty books. She had her own television show, Yanla, the other show, uh, Starting Over. You know, and so um, she's an accomplished woman. So. If you ask me, and nobody has, but you know how I'm always putting in my two cents. If you ask me who's right or who's wrong in the situation, did she molest Shane Tamar? I would have to say, and this is just me, and I'm saying this in a very delicate way, because yesterday Tamar's family came out in support of her and her molestation. They said she was, they were devastated and they would handle the situation any way that she wishes to handle it. And that's the way a family's supposed to. Um, molestation is a very devastating thing that can happen to anyone and so there's no right or wrong here but at the same time in my opinion you in order for Iyala to work for you you have to be the type of person that is open to the process you have to be open to the process she does all these little silly I don't know exercises you call them or whatever but they all are with the intention of having meaning for it, you know. And so if you're willing, I think she's a good life coach. She's not a therapist. She doesn't claim to be. That's my opinion. If you're not willing and you think this is too rough or I'm not ready for this, then she's not the person for you. But she says herself, the show isn't intended to really change your world. It's to give you tools. But that's my opinion. And it seems to be, you know, a waning opinion. People are saying that Iyala's rude and unprofessional. Um, I don't think so, but that's my opinion. And that's what this video is about. I want to know you guys' opinion in the comment section. Do you think Iyala is a bully? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.